the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP. You guys might be wondering what we are doing today and uh, you guys are like, why is he at the tree farm? And I actually wanted to do some a couple of improvements to this little, uh, my little tree area here. And the reason I want to do that is because... Uh, this isn't really uh, very efficient right now like I have all the trees just everywhere just placed in random spots and I kind of actually want to make my house as I was talking about in the last episode I kind of want to make my house a little bit more presentable like I want I want to be the best looking house just like uh, view wise so like I want to clean up this tree farm so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna in this episode I'll kind of talk about my tactics as to how I'm gonna go about uh, cleaning this little place up and then I'll talk about what is attacking me what is attacking? oh there's a skeleton I was like <laughs> I thought I was going crazy right there I was like, what the heck is attacking me right now? There's nothing next to me. Freaking skeleton just caught me off guard right there. All right, let me put some torches here. All right, whatever. That's fine. That's good enough for now. So, yeah, basically, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to make... Um, well, not really how to make, because I, I don't really know uh, too much about redstone. Well, I don't know enough about redstone to make, like, a fully automatic uh, tree farm. But I do know that um, I'm going to try to just make a tree farm. It's not going to be automatic in any sense. I just want it to look very nice and presentable in a in that aspect. So, I mean, I, I bought some self some shears. So, for these pesky little trees that grow into, like huge behemoths we'll be able to clear those out uh, nice and quick and uh, we can collect some leaves and we could actually use a uh, portion of these leaves to like start decorating stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously mine down this entire all these trees right here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I need to kind of I want to have like a cobblestone um, a, a cobblestone pathway so like the base layer instead of this uh, sand or not sand instead of this grass is gonna be cobblestone so what I was planning on doing I should break down all these leaves before they freaking grow because I am replanting everything so uh, what was I saying um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably replace this bottom layer of uh, of grass with cobblestone so then there's gonna be a nice cobblestone layer and then I was reading up on a couple of farm ideas, like tree farm ideas, and basically what they what they were telling me to do is I should have the a couple of your comments said this as well when I was doing this like a long time ago, like one of my first couple of episodes. But basically, you guys said uh, you got you should take um a, like a one piece of dirt and then raise the like raise the dirt or raise the land by one piece and then put the tree on there and that makes it so that it's you don't have to cut down the tree if the tree if the tree goes like really short you don't have to cut down the leaves so you guys have some fantastic ideas and i honestly i see every single one of your logic for one of those and i'm actually gonna i'm gonna actually gonna listen to it so all of your comments for you know this SMP series, like a survival series, I'm listening to every single one of them because as you guys may know, I'm not sure if you, all of you guys do, but this is my first ever survival world. I've never actually played a survival, I never actually got into survival Minecraft because I kind of just jumped straight into factions uh, with insanity. But yeah, that's basically what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to make and beautify this tree farm. I really should have done this cutting off work off of camera. Um, I might talk for just a little bit more and then maybe, just maybe, we'll uh, cut the film. We'll cut the film. Uh, I'll do the rest of the work off camera just because cutting the trees isn't really part of the video. Well, it kind of is, but not really because... Uh, most of the most of the other part is just gonna be planning a, like a little um, a little landing section. We're gonna be planning a, just a lot of stuff in general. So I might I'm gonna actually yeah I'm gonna pause the video right here. I'm gonna cut down the rest of these freaking trees that have like a billion limbs on them. And we'll be right back, guys, and then we'll go ahead and continue in one second. All right, guys, we are back and uh, yeah we cleared out this little, little entire tree area, our initial tree farm here. Let me pick up the rest of the stuff that's starting to fall from the leaves. Oh, I missed one right there. Let me go get that real quick. Uh, jump up here uh, Whack that off. I think I got all the logs now and that means that all the leaves should be Breaking I might have missed one in this little patch here. That's probably why that's not uh, degrading But we'll go ahead and finish that later But what we're gonna do is as I was saying in the earlier portion of the video is we're gonna take Cobblestone and we're gonna have a cobblestone layer. I'm not sure do I want to keep it in the same level? I might actually want to hmm, How do I want to do this? I might actually want to just make the cobblestone like oops the cobblestone layer here so we're gonna have a big 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 cobblestone um, 
I guess cobblestone boundary. Well, this is going to be the floor technically. So we're going to have a big cobblestone floor. And then what we're also going to do is um, we're going to make it so that I don't know how much spacing in between the trees. Maybe I should do four blocks. So we're going to have four block spacing in between all the trees. I'm probably going to have to grab more cobblestone for my chests. And then we're going to see how big we can make this farm, actually. Um, let's see. So yeah, so here's the plan. Just quick overview for you guys. We're going to turn all this floor, like the main floor, the floor that we'll be standing on, will be all cobblestone. And then we'll take a couple pieces of dirt and then we'll space out the trees, um, let's say four blocks away from each other. I feel like four blocks would be uh, nice and beneficial just to make sure that nothing uh, spawns. Or nothing like we can walk underneath the tree and uh, the, like the trees grow up to a decent amount of size Oh, this is a tree. We've got to break that down uh, There's like so many leaves on the ground from when I was breaking everything earlier Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed something in here because these these it's not it's not degrading. So let's uh My shears ran out. Yeah, there it is. There's a piece. All right. Let's see if that's the last one Yep, there you go. You already see the pieces starting to degrade. It looks like um, let me just break a couple more leaves just in case. Oh, it's from this thing too. Why is there a tree right here? I thought I cut that down. All right, hopefully that degrades the rest of that tree. I might have missed another one in there somewhere, but we'll go ahead and just continue. Uh, all right, so yeah, the, we're gonna have a cobblestone floor. We'll space the trees maybe four spaces apart, and then we'll place the dirt block one above the actual um, one above this actual layer. So I'll show you guys a quick example right here. Let me um. Let me get this little section started. So then I'm going to have a dirt block like this. And then above the dirt block, I will have my actual tree. So the reason why I'm doing that, you guys are like, why does he have to raise it up one? So the reason I'm raising it up one block is because um, if you guys have noticed, some of the trees, they like when they grow really short, I have to break at least two or three leaves before I can get into the center of the uh, actual like tree trunk. So what that does is that raises the tree up by one block and that means I can walk underneath the tree and basically just go straight to the log that I want to mine or that I want to um, cut down. So it, it does save some efficiency. It's really, it's quick and simple. I mean, just place the one dirt block above the cobblestone. And the reason why I'm, you guys are like, why does he need to do a tree farm this late into his series? And I want to make this tree farm is because this is part of my little project that I'm doing uh, for making my house look a lot sexier. So, I mean, you guys are like, the tree farm looked fine earlier, like it was working fine. Yeah, it was working fine, but I wanted it to look really, really, really nice. And the only way to get something to look really nice is if you organize it in a specific aspect, like certain patterns, specific, you know, layouts. And uh, that's kind of what I'm going for on Rise. I'm going to, like, as you guys can see here, everything is nice and symmetrical. All the torches are kind of placed uh, in, you know, in a symmetrical order. And it just kind of it just kind of makes everything look a lot nicer. And in my opinion, if the more the more your house, I guess, looks nice, like or the nicer your house looks, the more like the more dedicated you are to kind of making everything look very nice. Like I I really really want to fix up this cave system. I haven't gotten a farmer villager yet. There's just lots of things to still do, and um, I haven't even fully finished my uh, blaze farm yet. Like I still need to make some enchantment tables. Uh, for the people to use there I gotta I gotta mark out the walkway a little bit neater because it looks it looks kind of messy right now To be honest, so I kind of want to fix that up and I will be fixing it up But I probably do that off-camera because I don't really need to show you guys um, You know just making enchanting tables and all that on camera. It's just a little bit It might be a little bit boring for you, but yeah, so that's basically what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna go ahead and finish placing this uh, this uh, cobblestone off of camera uh, yeah, off of camera, and then we'll go ahead and continue with the commentary in one second. All right, guys, jumping straight back into it. So we have our little cobblestone layer here, and what we're just going to do to finish this up, this little section, you guys saw that last leaf disappear right there. We're just going to go, uh, let's go th four blocks. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops. So I want this to look very, very symmetrical on all sides. So one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure this is enough room for trees to grow, right? One, two, three, four. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll, it'll, it's a quick fix, and you guys can leave, leave it in the comment section below, guys. Is Am I spacing these out correctly? I'm not exactly 100% positive if I am, and if I'm not, let me know in the comment section below. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. If I am spacing out these dirt blocks correctly, and if these trees will grow just fine even uh, with 
with this little thing I have here. So what I'm going to do is just put the trees straight up here. And uh, we're, we'll probably end up expanding this farm in the future. Maybe to go all the way to that mountain. Just to have a huge, huge, huge uh, forest farm here whenever we do need... Um, you know, whenever we do need anything of this, any any wood, basically. So I'm going to actually put torches on the inside. So these two rows will kind of be on the inside. And this should prevent mobs from spawning uh, below here, hopefully. And if it doesn't, I mean, we could just always place down more torches. And I, this is kind of just like the basic symmetrics of what I want to do. As you guys can see, this looks really nice. It's like a nice open lane. Obviously, these trees will grow up eventually, and then we can put more trees over there. So it's just like a nice little area that we'll be able to keep and have in order to, uh, you know, if I ever need wood, I can just come over here, chop down four or five pieces of wood, and then replant the trees. Nice and simple, nice and easy, and that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm looking to make my life easier in the future by, oops, misplaced that by making these like no quick and accessible farms just for uh you know for me to use whenever i do need to do it one two three four this is, looks like it's going to be the last layer here place the rest of the trees and then we will be good to go with this farm should i put a fence around this farm just to top it off maybe like a little fenced area i'll have like two exits yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have two two fence areas um or maybe two exits or maybe should i make three yeah, I'll make three exits, and then uh, I could just do one on each corner. Like, <laughs> I'm so indecisive right now. Yeah, I'll do a fence corner in each one, and then obviously I need to make some fences. I think I have some left over from my earlier projects, but I'll be able to use that. And obviously I have a lot of wood that I cut down, so we'll be able to make more if we need. And we'll make some fences, and we can probably end the episode. We, I actually do want to extend this one just to make it a little bit more symmetrical, and we'll be able to place uh, the cobblestone are the fences on this outer cobblestone layer and that will make it so that there's one block on the inside for actually moving around so everything is nice and symmetrical uh let me just make sure that it's all good on this side so there's one block space there i need to do another block space on this side as well let's go ahead and dig up this dirt do, 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 do. We're making every we're gonna make our life a lot easier. Oh, I, I just realized what I forgot to do Hold on. Let me finish this dirt or this cobblestone layer here And then we'll go ahead and do that before I forget to do it later. So let's go do this uh, One stack of cobblestone left. No is, there's a, is there a leaf in there? Why can I not place it? There we go. All right, there's zombies spawning in the distance We're probably gonna have to torch up this area a little bit more and then we're gonna have torches on this side obviously so I'm just on the opposite sides. Where's that zombie? It disappeared. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right, so there's my first tree. So this is what I was talking about. Oh, there's a zombie. This is what I was talking about, guys. When the trees do finally grow, as you guys can see here, there's like a space for me to walk underneath, and I could just go ahead, jump straight in, and cut down that tree. I might have given them too little room. One, two, one, two. I'm not sure if they're going to grow. Hopefully they do. I might have spaced that wrong. I might have to end up fixing that. But that's basically the design. Uh, I'm just going to finish up the... I need to make more torches. So I got to make some torches. Oh, this tree grew a lot taller. Nice. Uh, so I got to make some torches. Fin finish up like the little lighting in this area here. So then no none of the mobs spawn. And then after that, make some fences. We'll go ahead and continue. I'll finish that off of camera. I don't need to show you guys that. It's just a uh, nice, simple, quick fixes in order to make this farm beautiful thank you guys for watching this rise smp episode in the next couple of episodes we're going to start to do some massive work on our little um on our little bat cave system here start to gather materials to make everything look a, a lot nicer in this little cave area fix up our chest area there's just a lot for us to do and i'm looking forward to recording rise for you guys because it is one of my favorite things to record so yeah thank you guys for watching today's episode hopefully you guys did enjoy or learn something new about you know making nice and simple tree farms uh yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed as always make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and we will see you guys Ah! Uh...